Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Cybersecurity Ranger. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can crack Linux passwords. In one of my videos, I demonstrated how to crack Windows passwords. And for cracking the Windows passwords, you need a SAM file and a system file. Uh, for Linux also, you need two files to crack the passwords. Uh, one file is called the passwd file and the other file is called the um, uh, shadow file right so let me just show you these files so the first file that you are going to find in Etsy is passwd uh, the passwd files it basically contains the user uh, name the the group ID, the user ID, and the directory. So this is my root user. The rest of the users are system users. And then you can also see I have two more users, right? Now it doesn't contain the hashes of the passwords. Uh, the hashes of the passwords, they are basically in shadow file. So again, it's in the Etsy directory. So if we open this directory at Etsy slash shadow, you can find the user again, and then you can find the hash here. Now you'll see that in most of the Linux uh, systems in the shadow file, you'll see two dollar signs and then um, a character or a digit in between. It basically uh, tells you what kind of hashing algorithm is used by Linux to generate the hash. Um, and then you will find the salt, um, I guess between these two dollar signs, you have the salt and then you have the hash, uh, starting from this dollar sign. Now, remember that Linux uses salt, uh, in order to provide more security as compared to the windows. So that generating the hash is, is more difficult. Uh, by the addition of this salt, salt is basically just a random number. Um, so you need both of these files. So you can see here that this is the user and then you have the hash and the salt. And similarly, I have users here and salt. So the ones that are here, these are basically, like I said, system generated users. Uh, they don't have any password. Okay. So uh, the first thing that you need to do, I'm just going to go to the directory where I have uh, these two files, okay? So I have the passwd file and shadow file. The first thing you need to do is that you need to unshadow this, these, uh, the, the, the shadow file. So you can use the tool called unshadow. Um, I think it's it's available in Linux by default, so you don't need to install it. So unshadow and then the passwd file and then the shadow file, and then I'm going to write it in, let's call it ranger, or let's call it Linux unshadowed. .txt, okay. So what this file is going to do is, uh, this command is going to do is that it is going to unshadow the shadow file and combine these two. Um, so let's press enter. So now if you look into the contents of this file, Linux unshadow.txt, um, and now you can see that it has basically unshadowed and then combined these two files. So you see the same thing, um, root, and then you see here six. Now, the files that I was showing you before had a Y in between. Uh, that is for the Kali Linux, and Kali uses uh, Yes script. And this, uh, these files, uh, the one that I'm using for the demonstration, these are for Ubuntu. And Ubuntu, you will see uh, usually six in the middle. Um, and I think it uses SHA-512 uh, to generate the hashes. Uh, the rest of the thing is same, and then you can see here um, the hash and the salt, right? 
Okay, let's try to crack it now. So I have uh, these users root and then I have ranger as well. So I'm going to use actually, you can use hashcat to crack the password. Uh, if you want to use hashcat, uh, you actually have to write hashcat and then hyphen M 1800. Uh, so now hyphen M 1800, 1800 is for the SHA 512 Unix passwords. Uh, if you want to crack MD5, I think it's M0. Uh, so so you can go to the help or the manual of Hashcat and you can see basically to crack a certain hash, what uh, number uh, you have to use here. Um, and then you you give the unshadowed file.txt. So I'm going to use the Linux shadow.txt. And then I have slash root slash desktop, and then I'm using a dictionary file uh, in order to crack the passwords, right? So the problem is that it won't work. Um, and the reason is that uh, Hashcat uses the GPUs and I'm running Hashcat right now in the VM machine. So I don't have enough RAM or resources for Hashcat to crack the password and Probably that is why you see this error. Uh, not enough allocatable device memory for this attack, right? So what I'm going to do is instead of using Hashcat, I'm going to use John. Uh, now for John, I'm going to use the file that I just unshadowed Linux unshadowed.txt hyphen hyphen format is equal to crypt. Now, six, the digit six basically means that it is using a crypt algorithm and crypt basically in turn uses SHA-5 and 2. All right, and then hyphen hyphen word list and then the uh, the dictionary file. So the path to the dictionary file, which I have it on my desktop, right? So let's try with John and see if it can crack the Linux password. All right, so it says loaded... Um, Four passwords, hashes, with four different sorts. Uh, okay, so because if you remember, I told you that John basically, uh, if you crack the password once, it is going to be in the john.port file, I guess. So we need to remove that file first. I'm going to remove the john.port because the hashes were cracked previously. And let's try to run it again. All right, so you can see here, um, I had the user Asad in this file. The password is tour. I had a user ranger. This is the password. I had a user Khan, and that's the password, right? So it basically cracked all the password. Let me just show you these users in the past WD file, right? So uh, you have a Ranger user, you have a Khan user, and then you can have, you have the root user as well, right? So this is how you can crack the Linux password. So if it is Ubuntu, you use the format as crypt. Uh, if you are using a different version of, uh, of Linux, you just need to know what kind of hash it uses. Like I said, uh, you'll find it in the past WD file. So I'm going to show you once again. In past WD file, you can see the digit or the symbol between the two um, dollar signs. Sorry, I think, yeah. So once you end shadow, you can actually see here, uh, six basically means the crypt algorithm, which again, like I said, uses SHA-512. Uh, for Kali Linux, it shows Y, and Y is for yes script. And as far as I know, John doesn't support yes script uh, till now. Uh, and Hashcat also doesn't support. So probably in the near future, you may see uh, these tools supporting yes script algorithm as well. Right. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe the channel and have a nice day.